it is going to be hot across Southern California. Let's get a closer look at our forecast right here. Long Beach, we're looking at clear conditions, temperatures in the 90s and staying that way, actually, as we head into the overnight hours for some of us. So very warm numbers, 92 in Palm Springs. We were just talking about the sheep and the quinta, very, very warm. As we head to Corona, 79 degrees, Fullerton, 77, downtown, 69 degrees, Records tomorrow looking like this, 107 degrees. Woodland Hills, 116. Newport, 93. Anaheim, 114. And Riverside, 115 degrees. So these are our expected highs, and those are the records that we're expected to beat. So we're looking at excessive heat warnings lasting through 8 p.m. That is 8 p.m. on Sunday. So really incredible how hot it's going to be and 8 p.m. on Monday as well. So everybody under excessive heat warnings and our local mountains looking at red flag warnings. Even if we're not looking at the red flag warnings, we're still looking at critical fire danger over the next couple of days. So record heat, critical fire danger, dry conditions, very hot conditions, and we're talking numbers in the triple digits, beyond triple digits. I mean, most of our inland valleys uh, expecting numbers that really we haven't seen in maybe even 100 years for some of us. We're looking at all-time records potentially. So I can't express to you enough how hot it's going to get as high pressure builds across Southern California. And let's get a look at the numbers tonight. Getting a little bit of a sort of mild night for us, but that's not going to be the case over the next few days. Expecting very hot temperatures, 90s, triple digits, getting up to 118 degrees. And we're talking in the San Fernando Valley, very hot through the San Gabriel Valley as well. And for the IE high desert in the mountains, same thing goes, 114, 117, and the heat continues through the rest of our Labor Day weekend. Jeff, Susie, back to you.